All right, folks, these are the Levo acetate glasses. These are blue light filtering glasses that you would wear during work or while you're gaming. Anytime you're in front of a, a display, a screen, there's going to be uh, an abundance of blue light, and blue light is not good for your eyes. So if you ever feel like you're having eye fatigue while you're watching TV or gaming or doing office work, you know, personally, I'm in front of a screen for about seven to eight hours a day, just sort of depends on the day. And then, you know, when I'm done with work, I want to do some gaming and it's brutal, right? Sometimes my eyes just get super irritated and this is a, you know, it's not brand new to have blue light filtering glasses, but uh, it's kind of a good thing, right? Like the market has matured and now there's additional options out there that aren't just strictly gamery looking. So again, these are the acetate model. I didn't get to choose the model, but the folks at Levo or Livo, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, L-I-V-H-O, they sent these over, so uh, very kind of them. So I'm giving it a you know, little run through. Now, I've been wearing these off and on for almost three months, and it got to a point where I would just leave them on and, you know, between calls and stuff and didn't even realize I was still wearing them. So these are not prescription glasses. As you can see, there's, you know, there's, there's no kind of distortion here for my finger. These are just, it's a piece of glass that blocks blue light. Now, one of the cool things about these is that when you put them on, the world doesn't become yellow, right? And there's like, yeah, like as you can see, the colors remain about the same. There's like a little hint of yellow, but it's not that bad. Now, inside the box, you get this collapsible case, right? It's a leatherette with their branding on it. So you can open it up and expand it to insert the glasses and then cover them up like that. And when you're not using it, bit of a magnet there when you're not using it you just collapse it so it won't occupy as much space in your pocket if you want to be that protective of your glasses or on your desk even so that's a nice added touch okay so these levo glasses now they range from you know thirty dollars up to fifty dollars i couldn't find this exact pair but i think they're about 30 bucks just looking at the other similar models on the website they have a lot of different designs <laughs> just a ton so if you don't think these are attractive or you know you don't think they'll look good on you or they won't match your eyes or however people choose glasses then you can find a number of different options on their website they have a one month return policy so that's pretty awesome and uh, 24 7 support so if you're having some issues you know like maybe a, a hinge broke or something and you want to know how to fix it you can do that okay comfort so glasses that do not have those little pieces, those little round pieces of plastic to stick on your nose, I'm a fan of, right? So the fact that this doesn't have that is awesome. Um, it would have been nice, I think, if there was some rubber here just to kind of softly let these rest on your nose. But, you know, it's not too bad. I did wear them for a long time, you know, meaning like, you know, over an hour at a time. It didn't really bother me, but I know that when I have that piece of rubber on my sunglasses, for example, I know that I can wear them like all day at the beach and it's no big deal. Okay. The hinges are solid, so as you notice, when I pull the sunglasses outward, the whole frame bends and lifts. So the hinge, it's a single direction hinge, right? It only goes up to 90 degrees and then back down to zero. It doesn't go any further than that. So when you put sunglasses on your head, right, they start to come here towards your eyes. In some cases, depending on the size of the sunglasses and the size of your head, these things will, boom, go like that. So you want to be cautious of that. Now, fortunately, I have a narrow head, apparently, or these are the best sunglasses for me or uh, just glasses for me. So it doesn't bend on me, but it may bend on you. So just keep that in mind as well. Dimensions are listed on the website under every product that they have available. So when I bought me five, six years ago, I bought my first pair of blue light filtering glasses. They were Blizzard Heroes of the Storm branded Gunner glasses. Gunner is a brand and they were like 120 bucks but I was playing so much of Heroes of the Storm. It's before my daughter was super little and didn't have other kids. So, you know, I had more time in my hands. My eyes are killing me. The fact that these are 30 bucks and when I'm working, it doesn't look, you know, I'm on a Zoom call or something or a Teams call and it doesn't look like I'm wearing gamer glasses. Uh, that has some serious value to me. So at 30 bucks and the fact that you can get this in a bunch of different designs and it's comfortable and lightweight and comes with a case, I think this is a really good option for you and if you haven't really felt like maybe you're really young <laughs> and you don't spend too much time on the screens and you feel like your eyes don't really bother you 
you know, hey, good for you. But I imagine if you're watching this, you might be thinking, man, my eyes get irritated after a long day of work or in the middle of a long day of work. Get some blue light filtering glasses. Check out Levo.com. I'll put a link in the description. And thank you for your time. Cheers.